sandcastle what I built. Wow, Megan, that's a great sandcastle. You're pretty good at this. Oh, oh no. no! That girl ruined my sandcastle. I worked all morning b building it. It was way up to here. I think I have to go and yell at her. Hmm. Well, okay, Megan. Um, let's take a breath and breathe. I don't think that will help to yell, do you? No, not really, no. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry your sandcastle got knocked down. I know working really hard on something and then seeing it knocked down can be really upsetting. You're right, Daryl. I'm really, really angry. Hmm, I understand that. But just because someone else did something upsetting, doesn't make it okay to be rude back, does it? You're right, Daryl. I think I know what you need. Megan, it's called peace. Peace? Mm-hmm. Yep, you need the peace of God. Peace helps us trust Him even when things are upsetting. Then we can make peace with others instead of hurting them back. Peace helps us to love people like Jesus loves people. When something upsets us, God's peace can help us not to stay angry or sad or upset. Let's play a quick game to help us understand. I'll show you a picture and you try to copy the face you see, like this or like that. You can do that, right friends? Right, yes go! Good job, everyone. You see, just like we can change our faces from sad to happy, God can change our hearts from angry to peaceful. We can tell him how we feel when we feel upset or angry and sad. And God can help us have peace. And that peace can... Spread from one person to another. That's right. Now, Bangani, are you ready to hear a true story from the Bible about peace? Yes! Yeah! All right, let's find a quiet spot and I'll tell you all about it. Our true story from the Bible today is about a man named Nabal and his wife, Abigail. And today, I'm going to need your help to tell it. Every time I say the word peace, I'd like everyone to do this. Touch your heart and smile. Let me see you all give it a try. Good. So, listen closely for me to say peace. Now, back to our true story from the Bible that begins with... Nabal and his wife Abigail. Nabal and his wife Abigail had a lot of sheep, like a lot. Come on everyone, count these sheep with me. One, two, three, four... Five. Very good. Taking care of sheep was a big job for Nabal's workers. The workers had to feed the sheep and water the sheep and protect the sheep. Well, everything was calm and there was peace. But taking care of all those sheep was such a big job. It was a very good thing when a man named David and his army came by. Wow, I know David. Mm -hmm. He's the young man who beat a giant using only a sling and stones. And when he grew older, he fought very well. David and his army helped keep all of Nabal's sheep safe. <coughs> None of the sheep got hurt or went missing while David and his army were there. There was peace because the work was getting done and everyone was being friendly. Helping was a good thing for David and his army to do. Mm -hmm. Nabal must have been so happy to get all that help. Well, Megan, that's what David thought too. So David and his army asked Nabal to give them whatever he could find for them, like food. But guess what Nabal told David and his army? What? 
He told them no. He was not going to give David and his army anything. <gasps> yep. How do you think David felt when he heard that Nabal was wasn't going to give them anything for doing such a good job of protecting his sheep? I think David must be so angry. That's right. Come on everyone, show me your angry face. Good. David was so angry that he was ready to take his army to Nabal's house and fight. Oh no. Mhm. Mm Everybody say oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Mm -hmm. Now Abigail, Nabal's wife, did not want Nabal and David to fight. She wanted to choose to make peace. So she thought, hmm. How can I choose peace? Then she got a wonderful idea. Abigail quickly got a lot of food and water and took it to David and his army. Because Abigail gave them food and water, David and his army chose to make peace. They decided not to fight Nabal. Yippee! Abigail chose peace. Jesus can help us to, to choose peace. That's right, Megan. So the next time you and your sister or brother want to play with the same toy, you can choose to make peace between the two of you taking turns. Or when you're building a sand castle and someone knocks it down, don't yell or fight. Choose to make peace and ask someone to help you rebuild it. Jesus can help us choose peace because Jesus can help us do everything. Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me to do everything. Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me to do everything. Okay, friends, I think it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear Father God, thank you for sending Jesus to help us choose peace. Help us to remember that Jesus is always with us and he can help us do everything. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, Abigail chose peace and that helped David too to choose peace. That's right. And Jesus can help you choose peace too. Now, let's do our memory verse for the month together. Do you remember what it says? It says, I can. I can. Do everything. Do everything. Through Christ. Through Christ. Who gives me strength. Who gives me strength. Philippians 4. Philippians 4. Verse 13. F verse 13. Great. Let's do it together. I, I can. can. Do everything, do everything through Christ, Christ who gives me strength. strength. Philippians, Philippians 4, 4 verse 13. Daryl, I think I'm going to build my sandcastle now. I'm not mad anymore. That's great, Megan. This time I'll help you. Salani gase bangani. Bye. So amazed by your goodness I love the way that you love me I've got this joy flowing deep in my soul now I just want the world to see With your love inside me I know I can change the world So everybody come on Every boy and girl, let's give this a whirl. We're making waves, no stopping, keep moving along. Making waves, everybody, all people belong. We got a lot of life to live and a lot of love to give. We're making waves. We're making waves. We're gonna make some waves today Make some waves today